Hi guys, it's Charlie and welcome to my 7 months on testosterone video and my top surgery update video. So, I know what you're thinking. Charlie, wasn't your 7 months like 2 weeks ago? Yeah, it was. Um, I was 7 months on the 23rd and I have just been really ill. Um, but amongst other things, I am st I'm still ill and I've been busy. This and that, lots has been happening. But I'm here now and I'm making the video, so... It could be worse. Seven months, hey, what a month, I don't know. If we do like head to toe, then I think that might be easiest. Obviously, I've got a haircut and I have dyed my hair. Um, nothing of that is to do with testosterone, but just in case you think I look different, that's why. Um, I do think I have noticed that my, possibly like my head has changed sh shape slightly, I don't know if that's possible, but um, I don't know if my hairline's changed slightly because the Usually I get comments from the barbers a lot about like having quite a strong crown and like these bits always stick up and they seem to do that less now. Could be nonsense, I don't know. Um, that's just kind of something I've noticed. Eyebrows are definitely more than they were at the start. I don't know if they're more than they were last month, but I've got fully functioning eyebrows, so that's nice. Um, face, I haven't really noticed much facial hair change. Um, I feel like I might try dyeing my face again, because that's when I last noticed, like, actually having facial hair. But I've not been going very strong. I know I said I was using medo Medoxidil, and I haven't been um, using that as much as I said I would, because it does make me break out loads, and I'm like, is it worth it? Um, and especially when my face is already feeling kind of grim, I don't like putting it on, it just makes it worse. So, yeah, I haven't been using that very much, but, I don't know, I'll see if I can put some photos up on my face. So, throat, I guess we'll call that the voice, we'll do my voice update. I'll do the one that I filmed when I was on seven months, as opposed to now, and I'll stick that one in now. Hi guys, this is Charlie, and this is my voice one day on testosterone. Hi guys, my name is Charlie, and this is my voice two months on testosterone. Hi guys, this is Charlie, and this is my voice three months on testosterone. Hi guys, this is Charlie, and this is my voice four months on testosterone. Hi guys, my name's Charlie, and this is my voice, five months on testosterone. Hi guys, my name is Charlie, and this is my voice, six months on testosterone. Hi guys, my name is Charlie, and this is my voice, seven months on testosterone. I think I might have slightly more of an Adam's apple, I think I notice it sometimes in the mirror, I think, I think she's there. <laughs> um, I don't know, yeah, I just notice it sometimes, I think I do have a bit more of an Adam's apple. And that makes me happy. I'd like to maybe get more, I don't know, how much should be expected of seven months, but I would quite like to have like an actual Adam's apple would be nice. And uh, I, I, do, I have like a little bump as opposed to like an actual Adam's apple, so I'd quite like to, kind of future goals, have an actual Adam's apple. I feel like my, to be fair, I feel like my face has changed quite a bit. I don't know whether you count this as six months or seven months, because I put the photo up in my six months comparison, but it was a little bit after six months, but it was a little bit before seven months. But um, I do feel like my face has become more masculine. That is something I've definitely noticed. I, I don't have to put as much effort into passing, which is really nice. I can finally branch out and do more feminine things, which has been something that I've kind of been working towards for a long time. So, for example, I went out the other night and um, I put a photo of what I was in, but I was in like um, skinny ripped jeans and I had like my nails painted and things and I had this kind of like slightly twinky shirt. So, like, something I definitely would not have worn even a month ago, like, let alone pre-tea type thing. It's the kind of style I've always wanted to wear, but never really had the courage to wear and stuff. It's really nice, and, like, I can go shopping now and just pick things up and be like, this is really nice, just buy it. Without all the, do I pass, don't I pass things. So that's been something that's been really, really great. So that's pretty much it for, like, my, like, actual updates in testosterone-wise, because... Everything is moving a bit more slowly at the moment, I don't know, things don't have the same huge steps they did in the first few months, but everything's going like in the right direction in its own time. So that's fine. Um, I, if I've forgotten anything in my illness-induced haze, I'll just kind of chuck it in with some editing, so sorry if I have. And we will talk about top surgery. So, I am going private for my top surgery, which I've already discussed. And I had my um, Skype consultation, and I've got my date, which is the 16th of July, is when I will be having top surgery with Mr. Nishaw. 
um, Peter Neeshaw, who's my surgeon. So, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm so glad I've got a date to count down to. I think it's 132 days now. So I've got something to like count down to, to look forward to. I know what's happening, all of this. It's such a relief to know that I've just got that set date as well I'm having my surgery. Um, which surgery am I having? I will probably be having periareola. So because Peter lives quite far away from where I live, we decided to make our first consultation a Skype one. Um, this worked fine for everything except it meant it couldn't give me a physical examination at all. So he's kind of taken my word for what my chest looks like. And um, we've discovered the only problem that I might have is because I've been binding for such a long time, whereas someone who hasn't been binding their chest as small as mine, maybe um, a tad higher, mine's been kind of compressed. So it's a little bit lower. Uh, this means that my nipples might be slightly lower than average cisgendered male nipples. Um, but the perks of periareola is I wouldn't have the two big scars. If the, that is the case, if the only difference would be choosing between having lower nipples or the scars, I personally think I'm going to go for peri. Um, my reason being I would like to go stealth in a few aspects of my life. Um, when I get the chance to, and I think with the publicity that being trans gets these days, the scars are a big kind of outing factor for a lot of trans people, and that's something that I personally would not like to have. On the other hand, if I get to my pre-op and he looks at my chest and he actually recommends to me double incision, I may be getting a double incision. So I won't know until the 4th of July which one I'm actually getting, but I think there's a good like 70% chance that I'm going to get periareola. And um, yeah, I'm really excited for that. So that's my surgery day. Um, Skype consultation was really good. I think we just spoke about like my chest, about um, my diagnosis, about like sending my referral, obviously, which I also got done privately. And um, yeah, not, not a huge amount else to be fair. I asked any questions I had. Um, the other thing with Perry is I do have one inverted nipple, so he wouldn't be able to change that on Perry, unfortunately, whereas he would with double incision. But again, that's not a huge factor for me. I've always had it. I kind of don't really mind having it, so uh wouldn't really bother me, I guess, <laughs> it is my sign of that. Um, and yeah, he asked me any questions that he needed, and then we sorted out kind of dates for when I'm next going to see him, which is the 4th of July for my pre-op, and then my surgery will be on the 16th of July. And then I'll have my drains taken out, like a, whatever, a week after that, whatever it is. And it's the road to recovery from there. So yeah, I'm really, really excited. Yeah, anyway, I think that's pretty much it in terms of updates. I know that these kind of testosterone updates especially are getting less and less and less, but um, things are just changing a little bit slower and possibly very similar to the different months. So um, if I said something was changing slightly last month, it's probably still changing, but still slightly this month, it'll probably still be changing slightly next month. For example, my face and my facial hair and things like that. But I will keep you guys updated, um, especially if you follow my Instagram, Trans Boys or Us, then I post a lot of my updates kind of more regularly on there, because it means I have to sit down and film a whole video. So my surgery date was released on there a little while ago, whereas this is the first time I'm releasing it on here. Um, if you have any questions, please do ask. I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, if they are a bit more private, maybe message me privately or I'll arrange to message you privately because um, I don't necessarily make videos on some of the bigger topics. But yeah, feel free to ask me anything and I'll see if I can answer your questions for you. And um, thanks for watching.